Well, happening today, the U.S. Postal Service is releasing a forever stamp honoring yeah. a famed 19th century sculptor with ties to the Capital Region. Our Cassie Hudson joins us live in the studio with that story this morning. Cassie. Ryan and Christina, in a male-dominated field, she carved out a place in history for herself. Now, with help from a local historian, her name will live on forever. A lot of people still don't know about her. The face of a woman forgotten in history will now be remembered forever on the Edmonia Lewis Black Heritage Forever stamp. She was extremely, extremely talented. It's a talent that can't be denied. Born in Greenbush, New York in 1844, Edmonia Lewis was the first sculptor of African American and Native American descent to achieve international recognition. But it wasn't without its challenges. The setbacks, the discrimination, the violence that was done to her, she was brutally beaten, almost killed. For many years, she was forgotten, until now. <laughs> Bobby Reno, the East Greenbush town historian, has spent much of her career uncovering, sharing, and preserving Lewis's legacy. Why she moved to London, we don't know. That's where she died. It's basically buried. After seeing her grave left unmarked and unkept, she led the charge on restoring her headstone following Lewis's wishes in her will to keep her headstone simple by just adding her name and her title, Sculptor. Uh, she wouldn't let anybody deter her from her goal uh, to what she wanted to be, which was a sculptor. She achieved that. I think there's inspiration in that. In March 2020, the historian contacted the United States Post Office to advocate for Lewis's face on a stamp. On January 26, that request becomes a reality when the Edmonia Lewis Black Heritage Forever stamp is released. And then to get the call to do something for the United States was a great honor for me. Mississippi-based Alex Bostick is the artist who helped bring the portrait of Lewis on the stamp to life. You know, she was basically ignored and now, you know, I have some play into bringing some attention to her and her work. That's an honor. It brings me joy. It brings me satisfaction that her story's getting out there. That's the most important thing. And Lewis's sculptures can be found in museums all over the world, with many of her pieces still believed to be hidden. Pretty cool. Now to check out a slideshow of sculptures on display at the Smithsonian, just visit our website at news10.com. Great story. Great effort. Thank you, Cassie.